Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. I am now at the St. Mungo's Hospital. I think it was last chapter, maybe two chapters ago, and I've been getting assignments, kind of similar to the Ministry of Magic. And one of my assignments is I have to care for a patient, and that patient is Hagrid. But Hagrid's not doing very well. He's kind of down on himself as well because he missed his Fang. I have an idea to get Fang to the hospital, but I have to run that idea by Madame Strout. So let's see what happens. Madame Strout, would you happen to have a moment to talk? It's about my assignment. I think I thought of a way to help my patient feel at home and... Um, Madame Strout? Oh, hello Mr. Casey. I didn't see you there. That's alright Madame Strout. I just had an idea that I wanted to talk to you about. I'm afraid I don't have any time to talk. I've got to finish brewing these potions for my patients. What if I help you brew your potions? Could we talk afterwards then? I am here to learn about the foundations of healing and the work of a healer, Madame Strat. Uh huh. Quite right. Your initiative is a marvel, Mr. Casey. Come along then. We have quite a few different potions to brew in not much time. Oh, great. Short and sweet. I like that. Short and sweet. This Wigan Well potion is almost done. I just need to finish stirring it. I like the color of it. Well done. This potion will do just fine. Thank you, Madame Stroud. I was happy to help. As I said earlier, I have a question about my patient as part of my school project. Hmm. Now you said something about an idea to make your patient feel more at home? Yes, my patient is Hagrid. Has a dog named Fang that he's worried about. I think bringing in Fang would cheer Hagrid up and make him feel at home. Hagrid was even thinking of leaving the hospital to check on Fang. I told him he needs to rest though. Uh. Your heart is in the right place, Mr. Casey, and I commend you for doing your best to help your patient. I feel a butt coming on. Or a however. However, animals aren't allowed as St. Mungo's. But what if this is the one thing that can help my patient feel at home? He said that was my assignment. I'm sorry, but my answer is no. As a hospital, we have to maintain a certain standard of cleanliness. Hmm. Professor Numenor said you were a clever student, so I'm sure you'll figure something else out. Ah. If you'll excuse me, I have to get these potions to my patients, and thank you again for your help. Well, swing and a miss. Blimey, Madame Strout seems like she's all smiled, but she knows how to put her foot down. Mm. I think she's being a bit unfair, don't you? She gave us this assignment, but now you can't complete it. She's being unfair, she has to follow the rules. There's other methods other than this, so... We'll figure it out. She has to follow the rules, Jay. The work the healers do here is too important to be breaking rules. Uh... Well, you know how I feel about rules. Mm. You can always bend them a bit. An Jet has to follow the rules as a healer, but we're technically just students. Perhaps you're right. If I want to make Harry feel at home, then I need to get Fang into St. Mungo's. Mm. So, what if you, hypothetically, brought in Fang without anyone knowing? Sneak Fang into a hospital? That... That might work. If we're gonna do it though, I'll need some help from someone who knows about St. Mungo's. Talbot's mother used to work here as a healer. He must know tones about this place. Alright, I gotta go talk to Talbot. He'll help me figure out how to sneak in Fang. I really don't think this is a good idea. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? I'm a curse breaker, I've seen it all. I'm pretty sure Dumbledore isn't going to kick me out. Or maybe he will. <sighs> you know what, I've totally forgot Talbot was with us. I thought I was going to have to go back to the Allery at Hogwarts. Casey and Penny, shouldn't you be tending to your patients? <laughs> My patient is being seen by one of the healers right now. The healer told me to come back later. And my patient is exactly why I'm here to talk to you, Talbot. We're here to learn about the job of a healer and our assignment is to help our patients feel at home. <laughs> Helping our patients feel at home is part of the foundation of healing. And I need your help doing just that. 
You said earlier that your mom used to work as a healer here? Hmm. So you think that I know someone about the same mangas that may help you? That's right, my patient is Hager and he's feeling a little bit homesick. At first he thought pumpkin pasty would help, but that just made him realize he misses Fang. So, I figured that if Hager misses Fang, then I should bring Fang to him. But animals aren't allowed to say mungos, Madame Strout said so. I'm gonna sneak in Fang in the hospital to see Hagrid. <laughs> Isn't it a brilliant plan, Delbert? It's not a brilliant plan. Hmm. It is a plan. Uh, uh, I'll help you. I can't imagine how Fang must feel without Hagrid. Brilliant. Let's discuss the best way to sneak in Fang then. Couldn't you just get a picture of Fang? They don't have the internet, do they? Can they just do like Zoom calls? So, we can pretend Fang is a wizard who attempted a human transfiguration and failed? Hmm. It is a common enough problem that the staff might not think twice about it. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to dress Fang up in wizard clothes? Oh, he looks so cute! That's not a bad idea, Penny. It might even help sell the bot human transfiguration part. Hmm. You should also consider that someone may ask why a student is emitting a transfigured wizard. Hmm. We could decide right now? That way you won't have to think of something on the spot. <laughs> okay, pretend Talbot is a healer asking where you found Fang. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where did you find this transfigured wizard? Seems odd a student would be escorting such a case in. At Hogwarts, in Hogsmeade, in Diagon Alley. I found this wizard in Diagon Alley. I just come out of the leaky cauldron when I saw him outside. <laughs> Fantastic job, Casey. I've seen all kinds of strange things in Diagon Alley, so that makes perfect sense. That's what I was going for, unbelievably. Did I pass, Albert? You're the, uh, healer asking me. Uh, <laughs> you did fine. <laughs> you could be an actor, Casey. <laughs> I should have known. You made a wonderful spring nymph in Professor Flitwick's Equinox Enchanted. One thing at a time, I gotta focus on my assignment here and learn about the foundations of healing. And right now, that means making sure Hagrid feels at home by sneaking Fang into St. Mungo's. Fang should be at Hagrid's hut, and I think I know just the people to help me with this operation. Who is it? But I have to wait first, but who is it? I don't have to wait. I'm shocked! I'm actually shocked I don't have to wait. Fang, I have some good news for you, boy. You're gonna get to go see Hagrid. I know, we just need to wait for one more person, but he should be here soon. <gasps> I still can't believe we're gonna sneak Fang in the same Mungos. Then again, I suppose it's not as wild as a planet trying to flip Marula into a devil agent. Assuming we get the chance, do you have any news about her? Huh. I'm glad you asked. While we wait for your mysterious second person, let's talk about Marula. Is this going to be an 8-hour quest? Why? Why? So we have to wait here all day for the second person. Great. <laughs> if only we knew what Marula's end goal is with R, yes. I would like to know that. So, you think Marula hasn't gone back to the Whomping Willow because R's last known scared her? Huh. That's what I was thinking, though I suppose this could all be part of a bigger plan. I should have continued confronting her in the Great Hall. If I hadn't let Ben interrupt, we might know more now. Um. Perhaps, but it's also possible she wouldn't have told you anything of note. I just want to know what's going on in the head of hers. Huh. Whose head are we talking about? And is it in need of a hat? <laughs> Andre Egwu, I didn't know you were the other person Casey called here for. Fantastic! Now that everyone's here, we can dress up Fang as a wizard to sneak him into St. Mungo's. Hmm? I'm sorry, we're doing what now? Why are we dressing up Fang as a wizard? It's from my assignment at St. Mungo's. My patient is Hagrid and he's missing Fang. <laughs> but animals aren't allowed in the hospital, so we're going to dress Fang up as a wizard. Right, to make it seem like a transfiguration gone wrong. It's important that I make my patient happy. That's one of the most important parts of being a healer. 
And I figured if anyone could pull off this style project, it would be Andre Egro, style wizard. Uh. Yes, a style wizard for wizard and witches, not a style wizard for dogs. Huh. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. This ought to be an interesting challenge. Fantastic, thank you, Andre. Come here, Fang, we're gonna turn you into a wizard. Oh, it's so cute. Ah. Uh. Huh. I think I got him. Blimey, he's adorable. I take back what I said. This plan is amazing. If only you see Fang dressed up. He really can pull off a hat, can't he? Maybe I should try styling more creatures. Hopefully it'll be convincing enough to the healers, but how else would a wizard transfigured into dog look? Huh. Only one way to find out, Casey. You're right, Cory. I need to bring in Fang to say Mongoats and sneak him in to see Hagrid. That's the only way I'll be able to complete my assignment and make Hagrid feel like he's at home. Oh, I thought we were going to turn Fang from a dog to a person. And then we would turn him back into a dog when we got there. But I wanted to see Fang as a human. I guess not. Well, let's see if this works. Blimey, is that Fang? He looks fantastic. I'm so pleased you decided to sneak him in. My Aunt Joe said we were supposed to make our patients feel at home. This is how I'll help Hagrid. Uh... And how are you feeling about this whole thing? I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm actually kind of excited about it, honestly. I'm excited to tell you the truth, doing something risky can be quite thrilling. I knew there was a reason I liked you, Casey, who got a similar appreciation for bending the rules. Well, it's like you said, sometimes rules are meant to be bent. That being said, would you mind helping me get Fang through the reception? A little extra help couldn't hurt. Mm. I would have been offended if you hadn't asked. I don't need a reason to cause a little mischief. Mm. Besides, this is all for Hagrid. Thank you, Jay. Let's get a move on. If we stay here too long, we'll start attracting attention. And just where do you think you're going? Pets are not allowed in the hospital. But this isn't a pet. He's a wizard that transfigured himself into a dog. Mm. That's right, and he can't transfigure himself back because dogs can't talk. I'm sure. And where exactly did you find this wizard? I found him in Diagon Alley. I was coming through the Leaky Cauldron where I saw him sitting outside. I'll answer any other questions you have, ma'am. Ooh, that's smart. Gain her trust. Although I have to admit, if she was smart, she would realize that, hey, I was talking to you earlier about no pets, and now suddenly there is a pet? I personally would not buy it, but we'll see what happens. So, you decided to bring this transfigured wizard here to receive treatment would be his best interest? That's right. I know human transfiguration is a tricky subject, so bringing the wizard here seemed best. Mm. St. Mungus is one of the best hospitals in the wizarding world. Well, you should take this wizard to the fourth floor immediately. Who knows how long he's been stuck as a dog? There could be adverse side effects. We'll take him there right away. Phew, blimey, that was close. For a moment there, I was worried she'd catch on. Mm. Great job with that bit on where you found him, by the way. I wouldn't have thought of that. It was Penny's idea. She suggested I think of something in case someone asked. Now come on, let's get Fang to Hagrid's room. Once Hagrid sees Fang, he's sure to get over this homesickness, then my assignment will be complete. I still have no idea how she fell for it. Or maybe she does know, but she just doesn't care at this point. The sooner I'm out of here, the sooner the better, right? He is, he is pretty adorable. Fang! Oh, you brought Fang all the way here! I knew you missed him, so I decided to bring him to you. You'll have to keep this visit between us, though. Animals aren't allowed to say mongos. But I wanted you to feel at home during your stay here. And I just couldn't resist the opportunity to sneak Fang to the hospital. Uh. I promise I won't breathe a word of this to anyone. With Fang by my side, my home sickness is cured. I've never felt more at home while being away from my hut. Oh. And it's all thanks to you, Casey. Although, I have no idea how you manage all of this. Huh? You gotta tell me, how did you pull this off? Take all the credit, acknowledge your friends' help, the hospital was your inspiration. Definitely my friends. 
Well, I couldn't have done it without my friends. The credit really goes to Jay, Talbot, Penny, and Andre. Mm. And Fang for being a good dog. Mm. But to tell you the truth, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't put it together, Casey. Yeah! Since you're both here, why don't I show you some of Fang's new tricks? We've been working hard at him. Ah! And while we do, I can tell you about me stay here at St. Mongo's. Alright, do I get a chance to see these tricks? Cause it's a long quest, there better be good tricks. You know, this is probably the best cure I've ever received at St. Mungo's. I'm sure you have to hear that, Hagrid. Ha! I'll be sure to tell your supervisor all about my experience with you. Oh. Well, excuse me, special visitor, that is. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself, Casey. You too, Jay. Mm. All I did was help sneak Fang in to see you, Hagrid. Casey's the one who has a knack for this stuff. But sneaking in Fang helped Hagrid feel more at home, Jay. So in a way, you've got the knack for making people feel better too. Mm. I hadn't thought of that. I suppose I did want to cheer Hagrid up. Ha! And you have. Maybe healing really could be something for you to pursue. We'll see. I'm not going to confine myself to one box, but this has been nice. Ha! I think you have both done well, for what it's worth. Thank you, Hagrid. I hope Madame Stroud agrees with you. In fact, I ought to go check in with her about my progress to St. Mungo so far. I think she sees right through us. Because she had this look on her right when she said okay. As if to say, hmm, well, I think you're probably lying, but I can't prove it. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Madame Stroud. I was hoping to talk to you about my progress so far. Ah. Of course, Mr. Casey. Having discussions like this will help me determine what I can do best to help you. And I must say, I am quite pleased with your progress at St. Mungo's. I'd even say you've exceeded expectations. Thank you, Madame Strout. I am doing my best to learn what I can from you and my patients. Hmm. Yes, your patient Ruby is Hagrid. Let's discuss your progress with him, shall we? Knowing more about your experience will determine what I can tell Professor Dumbledore. I think she knows. I think she knows, like I said before. As I said before, you truly impressed me. Your patient said you really made him feel at home. I am sure Professor Dumbledore will be quite pleased to hear that. You know, this isn't Hagrid's first visit to St. Mungo's, and he's never had such high praise before. Hmm. Tell me, now that you've had some experience, are you considering a career as a healer? I am. I'm not. I'm not really sure yet. It's good to have, I guess, a little bit of knowledge on it, but I think Curse Breaker is my true calling. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, Madame Strout. Hmm. Of course, and there's no need to make a decision right away. Although I do think you would make a wonderful healer, Mr. Casey. I'm glad to have you here, and I hope your stay here continues to be educational and fun. Thank you, Madame Stroud, I... <gasps> Madame Stroud, Casey! Chiara, are you okay? What is it, Lamb? You look like you've seen something dreadful. Mm. I'm fine, but there's an emergency. A severely injured patient has been rushed here to save Mungo's and... And... What is it, Jer? Mm. It's... It's Jacob, Casey! Your brother's been gravely hurt! No! The cliffhanger! The chapter's over. Wow, okay, I didn't see that coming. Although I guess it just kind of makes sense that, you know, we would get patients. Wow, alright, this is really, really interesting now. It went from like, okay, the thing with Hagrid and the dog, I'm like, okay, that's kind of cute, to something really, really serious. Could it be something with R? Could it be something outside of that? Something new? Keep in mind as well, though, we have the stuff with Marula, and we also are going to have to do the thing with the trial. I totally forgot about that also. What else am I missing? I don't know. There's more stuff I'm sure that I'm missing. I'm not sure when we're going to have the next chapter, unfortunately, because I know next week we'll probably have the Halloween events, or the Halloween, like, side questline. We will see eventually. Hopefully, Jacob will be okay. 
We'll find out eventually more with that. Move forward in Harry Potter Hogwarts history. So thank you very so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.